Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to do the final feat that I'm missing in the time rift, and the feat is from 11-2 Elite Mode, Sky War. The feat is Quick Rescue, achieve victory within 9 turns. So let's just go back first and talk about a few things before I begin the battle. First, there's going to be some changes to my previous clear. I'm going to have Ledin bring Mass Maids because there are no cavalry enemies on this map. So Mass Maids rather than Phallic Soldiers makes sense. Next, I'm going to have Tieris and Liana trade their equipment. So Tieris will have an equipment set that provides maximum intelligence increases. There's the Holy Ring with 75 int increase. There's the Blue Moon with 107 int. The enchants, of course, are giving int and the enchant type is full moon for another plus 10% intelligence. So basically, pretty intelligence focused gear. Uh, her set of gear has gone onto Liana, and this set is, you know, healing increase, crystal ball for healing increase, and some intelligence increase enchants, but overall, it's not intelligence focused, right? especially since the crystal enchant gives 20% healing increase as opposed to 10 int. So that will, that change will give Tieris some attack power, right? 330 int plus 258 that way. Other than Tieris's changes, uh, I should mention that my Tieris is actually not complete yet. In for example, if I go into her bonds page, her strength bond is only at level four, which means it only gives 4% int increase. At level nine, it actually gives 13%. So I'm missing 9% int increase here. And also the heart bond is not fully upgraded. It's not at level 10. Because at level 10, it gives plus 5% to all hero stats. So in total, due to the bonds not being complete, she is missing 14% int here. But it should be manageable despite that. After all, my TRS is indeed 6 stars. So those are, I think, three changes. Mass maids, right? Tieris and Liana swapping gear. Landius is going to be bringing Royal Calvary instead of... I think I brought Dark Guards last time. It was Dark Guards or Heavy Centurion. Dark Guards, I think it was. But Dark Guards, right, they lack attack power. 435 as opposed to 539. So I think this attack power difference will help a lot. And... Other than that, Tieris is going to bring Sorceress Soldiers. Because the sorceresses, as long as they're at full hit points, will have an increased attack value, making them hit really hard as well. That's as opposed to Bolt Rangers, which decrease the damage Tieris will take. Right? So that's basically a 40% attack difference, right? Due to sorceresses giving that 40% attack in increase and Bolt Rangers not getting any kind of attack increase at all. And last but not least is I did change Sophia a bit. This is not a required change, but I think it makes things easier. And the change on Sophia is that she has speed boots. Uh, not much else to say about that. It's just the speed boots will allow her to move four, which makes it probably easier to move my characters around. So with all that said, let's begin the battle of 11-2 Elite Mode Sky War. To get the very last feat. Okay, so my party is arranged properly already, it looks like. Leon is in the south because that's the longest distance to charge up. Ledin and Liana, who both have three movement, will be in the center here. Sophia is up here with the regenerate, heal, and rewind so she can move down because she has four movement. Up here, Tieris is at the very top with heal, miracle, and attack blessing. And Landius is below. So, this positioning is pretty important. And let's begin. So, the reason why the positioning is important will be shown as soon as I can move. <laughs> it's because uh, Landius down here means he can move up and have Tieris within two range of him. So he can activate his faction buff here and get United Will due to Tierra's being within two range. 
giving him some additional attack and uh, at 11% of her, his attack is also added to his defense and magic defense values. And then Tiaris is going to move up and she is going to miracle up to start. In the south, let's turn the dangers on now. Leon is just moving up. Leanna moves forward. Let him moves forward and activates his faction buff. And Sophia comes down. So Randius takes the hit. Doesn't really do much to him at all. Lancer uses the Lance Phallic skills. So, moving forward, Landius can just move up. And I guess there's really not much for him to do, is there? He can just move up and activate his Tranquility skill, I suppose. And Tieris is going to attack Blessing herself. I should also mention, my Tieris has 753 intelligence in total. So she's going to attack Blessing herself this turn. And now I should be ready to attack in the south. So Leon is going to chivalry up and focus on wiping out the two support characters the healer and the mage attack and healer is down and i'm going to move or sorry mage is down i'm going to move back two tiles not three because Ledin needs to move into that tile so Ledin is going to move up and activate he actually does not need to activate the vanguard yet could though. Or he could wait on the turn. Let's just wait. Liana is going to again Leon so that Leon can wipe out the monk general. And, move back. and then Sophia is going to move up and just I guess he'll let it. So here, Landius once again tanks the hit from the catapult. It does basically nothing to him. Let in tanks the hit from the catapult as well. We're pretty much ready to engage. So Landius fights the Lancer, takes a whole bunch of damage, doesn't really do anything because it's a Calvary versus Lancer battle. And that is why Tiaris is so important. Here. I'm just going to end Landius' turn and have Tiaris begin range attacking the enemy lancer. Down here, Ledin will activate the vanguard now. And I probably want to draw out the attack from the dragon rider too. Actually, I'm going to try to avoid the attack from this infantry. Let's move Leon back one. Or I can actually have Leon attack. Yeah, oops, sorry, it makes more sense to have Leon attack. So he just does an assault attack and retreats. 
Yes. Let in is going to the vanguard. Sophia will regenerate. Let in. And Diana might as well pray her up right now. Heal them both. So with this Legon is going to tank two hits from the Lancers, which should suicide into him. Mangius continues to tank a hit from the catapult, healing light. And I think this should be fine. Guard skill is down on the Lancer. So let's start with Landius doing a melee attack on the enemy catapult. Not killing it because his soldiers were mostly dead, but that's fine. Tieris will range attack with attack blessing the Lancer and kill it. And the catapult has lost all his soldiers, so when the catapult attacks me at 2 range, Landius will kill off that catapult. In the south here, I'm going to have Leon smash the infantry. That's the key. And just place himself there for now. Ledin can help finish it. So when we attack, down it goes. And other than that, why don't I just start weakening these enemies? So range attack, and Sage's hat let in. And then Liana can range attack the Dragon Rider. So far, I think. So let in crushes that dragon rider easily. And now let's move up. So I'm going to move up and just heal up Landius to start. That way, Landius can move forward and reactivate his faction buff. Didn't need to... Uh... In that case, I did not need to Sage's hat Landius, I should mention, because there's nobody who can stun him on his spirit. So, continuing on, in the south, yes. I'm going to start, yes. well, okay. Leon is going to finish off the catapult, and I don't particularly want to draw them to attack me yet, Hi. so I could though actually, yeah, in fact, I think I will. So let's have Leon move up. I need to make sure Sophia can apply Sage's hat on Levin, however. 
So if I place Leaden here, Sophia can move down and regenerate. Or if I place Leaden here, Sophia can move here. Yes. Hi. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Yes. So Leaden here, Hi. Sophia here. Right. That's fine. So let's have yes. Leaden shift down and start with the fashion. Hi. And then that way. Liana can come down and again. Ledin. And Ledin will now move here to the Vanguard. And then Sophia can move over and regenerate Ledin. So I'm just optimizing. My ability to uh, push him aggressively. Alright, so with that Lancer killed, the Flyers are spawned. Landius, for now, fights against this Dragon Rider. And the rest of these enemies have, should be triggered as well. And let in. Tank a hit from a Dragon Rider, killing it off. I'm going to get hit by Wind Whisper, which I expected, but it's just one. So overall, it's looking good. Now. Why don't I have Lenius? Melee attack this infantry to start. And then I can have Tieris. You know what? Let's just miracle up. In the south, it's a lot of flyers right now around me. And there's still two enemies who can actually wind whisper me. So let's try to avoid one of them at least. The wind whispers that is. So. Let's have Leon kill off a flyer and then kill off an infantry. Which means... Chivalry. And Assault. And Levin can move three here. Yena can move here to a game. Actually. Yeah. That. Yes. That end goes down. And end this game. <laughs> Sophia is responsible for rewinding. And I don't actually need to Sage's hat. So I can be a bit more aggressive with this rewind. Maybe like this. Nope. I have to rewind here. There's no choice. So, yeah. And then that way, Liana can... Again, Leon. Talent to everyone else. And Leon, for this attack, can assault 
the airship commander. And taking him down in one shot. And move back. In the north, Landius kills off the Dragon Rider. infantry as well. Over here, I get hit by Wind Whisper. But nobody should die. Yep. So it's looking good. Maybe it's hammers. Monk. Meaning he can easily finish this monk off. And Tieris is going to focus on healing up Menus. Turn 7. I got two turns left to kill off the remaining enemies. But it's going well. Yes. Letting can reactivate the Vanguard. Leon can crush this Dragon Rider who has not used Wind Whisper. And the melee attack. Take it down. And I suppose a retreat. Like so. Let in, as I mentioned, with the vanguard. Sophia will regenerate. Let in. And Yeris is going to miracle up everyone. To heal them. Landius continues to fight against the northern enemies. He does very well against them. Barely surviving that, but he does live. Even if he died, he would have revived. So it works out. And Lenin kills off those two flyers, leaving just two enemies who will suicide into him. And Landius can kill off those guys in the north as well. So. Done, basically. Mendius can really attack and finish the general, the mage general. And Tiaris will once again heal up Mendius. And in, in the south, Leon crushes the mage general, leaving just the Lancer who is going to kill himself into my leaden. So, I'm done on the end of turn 8. Don't even reach turn 9. So the improvements I've made really definitely helped. And actually, I think this method is a perfect clear method. Now, let in with mass maids, slaughters the Lancer General, and Landius will slaughter the Dragon Rider. And we're done.
So yes, it is a three star. I do get the quick rescue feat. And the other feat was no one from your team was killed, which I would have gotten here too. So yeah, this is the perfect clear method. So with that, I am done with the current time rift. Obtain stars, I have 492, finishing 30 se 32nd on my server, Rocky Valley. And feet trophies, I have 345, which is the most you can get. And I am the fifth person to finish in getting all defeats. And so all that's left now for me to do in the time rift is if I so choose to grab the treasures. Right? There's a treasure I'm missing here from 11.7 light and dark and a treasure I'm missing from the 11.7 elite mode light and dark. I'll probably do a video showing how to grab the treasure in the elite mode just so you know people are aware of how to grab the treasure for the normal and elite mode. Uh, I probably will not grab the normal mode treasure because I, as I mentioned already it is four epic crafters hammers as I, as I recall and it's not worth it but the elite mode one with the epic martial spirit absolutely is worth it so thanks for watching everyone I hope you found this video useful and on that note nitro out